Hi, my name is Erica Schneider. Thank you very much for letting me speak tonight. Schneider is spelled S-C-H-N-E-I-D-E-R. I've taught in PPS since 2006, but I have 11 years of experience as a teacher, and I've taught exclusively in Title I schools. The voices of the families I serve are not often, and her often heard in a forum like this, so let me give you an idea what it's really like in a Title I school. In my 11 years as a general education classroom teacher, I have had in my classroom a student with post-traumatic stress disorder, a child who was born addicted to heroin, a child who was physically abused by his parent, several foster children, and several homeless children. Also, in 11 years, I have worked with more children than I can count who have one parent in prison, more, par more children than I can count who come from one parent households, more children than I can count who are being raised by their grandparents. I have made more calls to DHS than I can count to report abuse and neglect. When we teachers attempt to bargain regarding our workload, we are not advocating for ourselves. We know that when a teacher... We know that when a teacher has too much to do or too many students to serve, that service suffers. In my own classroom, I teach third grade at James John in St. John's. I have 32 third graders. And yes, some of them have some of the special needs that I just mentioned. I work through my half hour lunch every day preparing materials for the afternoon. I take curriculum and papers to grade home with me every night to do on the couch after I put my own children to bed. During the school day, there just is not time for me to check in with every student. It just isn't right for an eight-year-old to share one adult with 31 other children. There is no parent in Portland who wants that for their child. It is not fair to students. So when teachers talk about our workload, it's because our students suffer when their teachers are overworked. We teachers are not so different from you, school board members. You're in a voluntary position. Uh, we do this, you do this, because you know it's important, we know it's important. Many of us teach because we feel we've been called to do it. We are passionate about working with children. But this passion that we feel makes us vulnerable. It makes us, work, it makes us take our work home when our workload increases because our students need us. Our commitment to our children makes us do more with less because kids still need so much attention. Our compassion makes us vulnerable to pay freezes and hiring freezes because we need to be there for our kids. We are willing to do this work for modest pay. Nobody is paying us $15,000 a month like you're paying Yvonne Decker. are here tonight asking you to please listen to us. We are down in the trenches providing direct service to students every day. Please stay at the bargaining table. Please, please do what's right for students. Thank you.